this where is where is no ah oh, there it is all right cool let's do this so um and so i forgot to put it on live all right um zip I forgot to put it on live, god damn alright me, stupid. Fuck it. Um anyway, welcome everybody, welcome back to the Mulfi project. Um so today we're gonna be working on the fellas here and then get those done and then get the third color in. So uh yeah, let's get started on this bad boy. Ah, uh, I feel such I feel such a dumb dumb. I was I was talking to myself the whole time. We even without recording. That's ah. Uh, well, that's what you get when you're when you off doing having a day off and be like, ah, oh, well, let's go back to work. What, what could possibly go wrong? Well, everything apparently. Let's switch back to uh, the great old sketchy tool instead because we like to have a sketchy tool instead uh, and. So on which layer am I drawing? Come on. Alright. That layer, exactly. Alright, good. And I need to switch to uh, the other gum as well. Alright, cool. So, um, let's see, do we have all the tools? Yes, we do. Alright, switch that to low poly. There you go. Easy. Just easy. So yeah. Um today we be, we will be working on this and then hopefully, you know, we will be done by today. All these tiny little feathers need to be done. Um I saw some uh, great news today. You probably have not seen it, but I did. And uh, it was actually quite fascinating to look at it. Like, what the hell did they? What the hell did did, did came out of that? So yeah, um, apparently uh, some companies are forcing employees to uh, do certain things, and uh, well, those things are a little bit ridiculous, let's say the least. Anyway, uh, enough talk about that. So today I actually did some drawing. In the early in the early day, and uh, I came to the conclusion that uh, for now I won't be able to uh, do the animation parts, but I will do the draw coloring part. So I'm gonna be focusing on that instead, and then hopefully you know work my way up. So I'm gonna be uh, just you know creating stationary images with emotion in it instead of you know stationary images. I need to have facial recognition and all that stuff, and then try to improve upon that. So that's the idea. At least that's what my idea is gonna be. I hope it's gonna be good. Uh, no doubt, I will probably be doing you know a lot of you know work around it. But yeah, the um, the idea of you know doing an early stream and a late stream is that I'm doing two different things because I'm do using two different styles to comp uh, to see you know what what goes what and where goes where and hopefully that will uh, end up great. I believe that will. I hope it will. And uh, yeah. So that is at least the idea of why I'm going to be doing an early and a and a very uh an early stream and a very long uh, and a very stream very uh like now right now also i should actually put on the light that's a good idea i am sitting here in the dark and i don't want my eyes it was really dark and i totally forgot about that <laughs> So yeah, um, the idea of you know not getting eyes uh, adjusted to this uh, to the dark place is uh, very important. Otherwise, I won't be able to. Yeah, there you go. 
fix that. Alright, cool. So, the idea here is that, you know, I'm just coloring these little feathers, try to talk, do some smooth talking, I don't know. Like, how was my day going? Well, my day went actually good. Uh, on the downside that actually the morning stream was actually not a waste of time, it was only like a realization of time. Like, ah yes, I totally forgot that uh, today I had to do it, and then I did it a little bit too late. Then I also came to the realization that, uh, you know, animation is not for me, and so I, f I, uh, I moved on from there. And uh, now I'm gonna be trying to just, you know, do the co uh, do the drawing part and then coloring part and all that stuff instead because, you know, I still need to improve on my, on my drawing skills and hopefully, you know, eventually we will get there. It's just really, really hard. Uh, well, that that said, um, I'm very happy upon uh, what I already have achieved and how far I already got. So I'm not, I am not gonna be saying like, Oh, I did such a bad thing. No, actually, I did actually a very smart thing to real come to the realization of things is one of the things that you need to know. Anyway, it's quite funny when you look at the other uh, other window or well, on other screen when you other screen and you realize like, oh my god, it's actually really, 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 really strange to see other colors because you know I'm looking not fully into the screen. I'm looking sideways. So I can not I can only see like you know the brown I can see and the other one is like blue to me, which it's not. It's actually brown. Probably it's because you know the reflection of the screen is uh, a little bit murky, but eh, oh well. Anyway, since that I'm doing this, you know, it's a it's a good uh, good start. I totally. Did my very best upon getting this uh, done, and uh, hopefully it will uh, it will get better after you know improving. So that's the idea with the early streams. That's the idea, you know, improve upon the drawing that I did. Did so that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be drawing something, and then you know improve upon that, and then hopefully you know it will be looking great. Anyway, or anyhow, uh, so also, why did I take a break off? Why did I take a break? Well, I was like, uh, well, I was feeling well. I was just a little bit nervous upon, uh, you know, I had an important, I had an important meeting today, and uh, that went well. So, congrats on me. I did my job. I did my job proud. And uh, the person that, you know, came to the meeting said like, yeah, you only need to improve upon this and this and this and then we are good to go. And I'm like, alright, cool, I can do that. So, I, do, I still have to do some busy work, but yeah, it's not the, it's not the biggest of deals. But uh, yeah, I was a little bit nervous upon that. Like, you know, I don't know what he expected, I didn't know if the expectation, um, if the expectation, yeah. Expand, eh, the ex, eh, the expectation of the, come on, the expectation that was represented was the right expectation that uh, that he wanted. So the the did he want to have this book, this precise book that I just gave him, you know, that kind of thing, and uh, apparently he did like it. Apparently. He was under the impression, and uh, I did it rightfully. So there were only a little bit of, there were only tiny little bits of problems that I had to sol solve by my own, and uh, well, I did that as well. So uh, in two weeks, I will speak him again, and then uh, hopefully I will get everything done, or rightfully so, done. And hopefully that will uh, will be uh, awesome. Anyway, that's the good news. And the bad news is that, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing two streams in one day. One is gonna be probably taking long times, like three hours or something. And that's gonna be just me, you know, drawing. Most likely drawing. Drawing, complaining, what the hell did I just do, kind of drawing like. It's not gonna be like this. It's not like 
Oh, you have already a finished project. No, it's not. It's going to be all the lovely stuff of, you know, trial and error again. And uh, hopefully uh, that's going to be interesting enough to watch. If not, you know, no big deal. The first thing I'm going to be making sure is that I'm going to be making an icon for it. So that's the t first thing I'm going to be doing in the morning stream, creating an icon for the morning stream. And uh, once that is done, um, I believe then we can move forward to the next thing. So yeah, I'm going to make an icon and uh, that icon is going to be lovely. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a morning icon. and. Uh, once then that thing is done, I need to update all the fucking videos before that, so... I believe that's a good way to start things up. And now I can do this, and I can press this again, and then I have to take control. Yes, excellent. Alright, cool. So yeah, um... The idea of you know having uh, having two streams in one day is actually not that bad because therefore I need to focus upon producing instead of you know sitting here doing nothing or you know being like oh well the day has ended what now oh yes I can do streaming again and draw so no that's not the mentally me mentality I want to get I want to have the mentality of you know doing the stream and then doing another stream at night. Why? Because I really want to, you know, improve upon my coloring and on my, upon my drawing and therefore I need to learn how to, well, you know, draw. And so the more I draw, the better I will get at it, the better I will get at it, the better, you know, the more benefits it will give me in the long term. And that's the idea. I will try to do my very best upon getting more uh, more drawing and more more stuff done, and that's wh where the early stream is coming uh, is gonna get hit its benefits from. I will try to do my very best upon getting then, you know the 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 experience that I was lacking. Yeah, there you go. Words very hard to pronounce sometimes. Anyhow, uh, that's uh those are my thoughts that those are the things that I'm now currently working on that's the things that I did today actually oh hey Baka congratulations for your birthday so yeah um that's what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be doing more streams woohoo and uh, it's gonna be lovely because I'm gonna be the first thing I'm gonna be doing is going to be making a i uh making an icon for the uh for the stream itself so it has a different icon than uh, my icon that I'm always using why do i want this because i really really want you know to be this that did i really want to be the morning stream to be different than the than the project streams because the project streams are all about you know the project they are not about anything else they are all about you know getting the project done and of course, using your full spirit and mentally power to get get it done. And so, yeah, that's uh, that's the idea. I want I want to I want to have the morning stream to be different than the Morpha project and uh, the boat project and all the other projects that are uh, in in the loops of loop de loop. I guess I guess that's it. <laughs> No problem. You're welcome. You know, it's always very nice to congratulate people personally. That's always the best thing. That's what I always love about. Uh, that's what I always love about birthdays. You know, to say congratulations and be very happy about it. That's also a thing that I missed. You know, now with the corona and all that stuff. You know, you cannot even go to a birthday meeting. It's like, oh no, you cannot go to a birthday. That's horrible. Yeah, because I really like to go to a birthday. I really like to go there because I'm a very good person when it comes to eating. And uh, yeah, food is also a thing that can drive people to go to somewhere. And uh, yes, I am definitely a person that has a weakness for that. 
It's like, did it include food? Hmm. All right, you got me. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, let's no further ado. Let's continue on this. So yeah, the uh, the whole idea of you know having an early stream and a and a late stream is like. What are you going to do in between? Well, in between, of course, I'm going to have a break. But the streams are more for me to progress and get better at get better at st stuff. So I'm going to make a thumbnail for you know the early more uh, for the early morning streams and uh, for these streams. I'm probably I'm going to be using a like you know an icon or something like that, or you know just casual the B O W -E bomb probably. And uh, I don't mind that people think that the bomb is a little bit of, you know, it's just a bomb. It's it's nothing special, really. And I'm saying, like, yes, it might not be special to you, but the bomb is actually one of my first representations of me, me you know, representing the world. Well, at least that's what it did. The bomb was actually a representation on how I viewed the world. And trust me, I did not view the world very nice. <laughs> I was not a very nice person when it came to viewing the world. I had like a very good, uh, oh, ah, uh, eh, oh, hmm, looks like I messed up a little bit here. So I need to get this there, and then yes, alright, cool. There you go. Something is amiss here, hold on. Yeah, come on. Show me, what did I do wrong? Something is here amiss. What is it? What is that is amiss? Alright, so this is a wing. Alright, so here is one. This one is one. And I need to blur this into that direction. Yeah. So this is the first one. Alright. Huh. Come on. There you go. And then, then the second one goes from here. Alright, so there are three. So this one is one, and then this one is one. Interesting. There are two different wings here. Huh. Not like real wings, so I mean like wings, parts, feathers. There you go. Congratulations on being alive for another year. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Th those uh, th th those were the fun days. Yeah. Indeed. Fun days are good days. You know. You know when I when I have fun. I mean it. I have fun. If I if I say that I want to have if I want to say that I want to have fun. I mean it. Like really. Uh, I even can enjoy myself, you know, jumping on a trampoline and be like, oh yes, I'm on top of the world, baby. And be like, bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. So yeah, I can totally, you know, emerge myself with doing whatever I want to do. And, uh, you know, bouncy trampolines are my favorite kind of bouncy things because they are like really energetic for me. It's like, I can keep up with this. I must bounce. Continue to fly even higher. And that is what I like about trampolines the most. The bouncy stuff. It's such a shame, you know, that really... It's such a shame that... Uh, people always say, like, You cannot have fun! And I'm like, yes, true. I might not be able to... I might not be allowed to have fun, but I do will have fun. Because I'm a very... F I really like to do stuff like that. Also, um, back when I was like, you know, doing, um, doing hiking, or well, when I 
hiked at a <laughs> you know I'm trying to say. Yep. Yep. The big the bigger the trampoline the better. But uh yeah. The um when I was hiking, for instance, uh I also had fun. But I am like always very exhausted. And people always said to me like you don't have you don't have what it takes to be a hiker. You have no sustainability and you are weak. Why did you not train before this? I'm like, what? You want me to train? Uh, that was not in the, that was not in the brochure. That was not uh, there when I saw it. And then everybody was like, well, this is a very high energetic thing. All right, cool. And. Uh, of course, everybody looked at me like, "Why did you bring, why did you bring, bloody damn honey on a trip, on a hiking trip? Why did you bring honey with you?" It's like, hmm, good point, good question, yes, good question indeed. And <laughs> I was like, hmm, how would I explain this to these people? Hmm. Oh, I know, I will explain it with them. With a, uh, what was it again? I believe I explained it to them quite easily. Oh yeah, I explained it. That, I explained it to them where uh, by saying that you know to get to get to the point where you know you have you need energy, right? To 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 do your stuff, to do hiking, you need energy. Well, that's true. But if you um, if you do if you have like a certain way of gaining energy you know you can do hiking even faster and I knew that honey by the way honey is a very nasty substance um, it's a uh, very sweet and full of sugar but honey is one of the most easiest way to g gain energy because it's very easily absorbed by the blood and uh, well, because I can combine it with water, I don't have to deal with anything. And sugar drinks are my, like, no-go-to, because if I drink sugar... <laughs> get ready for a person that is way too hyperactive and talks way too fast. Yeah. So, uh, that's not gonna be happening. Uh, I will refuse to drink sugar drinks when it comes to having f fun with friends. I rather want to keep a, uh, I want to keep a normal business life. So I'd rather go for milk or something, or something outrageous as tea. Oh. Could you believe it? Me drinking tea? Yeah, I don't like coffee. The same why I don't like, you know, most of the drinks. I do love my, I do like, I do like sugar drinks, but I don't like the side effects of it. The side effect is, of course, me being hyperactive. And uh, that is not a good, not a good go-to. How is it that even when you when you tell a normal story, they are wacky and weird? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know when I tell a normal story, they are wacky and weird. Well, maybe because my point of view is different. Maybe, you know, I don't see everything like other people see it. I see them like, I don't know, uh, different. It's like an adventure, you know. Me just doing stuff and then realizing like, oh my god, I did stuff and now I'm screwed beyond reckoning. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe because I'm too weird of a person. Because I cannot have a normal, lovely, you know, story to tell. Or is it just my, you know, perspective that is a little bit fucked up? I think both. I think both are the problem. Both. Definitely both. But yeah, my, uh, my, 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 uh, my my stories are eh, not always that jazzy, but did I also once to oh wait I did not guys did not tell you that there was once a story when I had like you know my uh, my sister was a little bit uh, drunk and I was well I have not drink so I drink no beer because I'm a very person that doesn't like beer for some god awful reason I don't like beer it's uh, it's as long the beer is not taste taste like sugar drinks, I don't drink it. That's uh, that's uh, that's my definition of beer, like the the sour taste on it. What did what did you bring on a hike, honey? And let me tell you, why. 
Yeah, because it's very, it's a very, it's a very good way to gain energy back. Like sugar drinks take make you you make your belly go, uh, make your belly go pain, uh, make your belly really painful, because you know it takes away the water. But if you go for honey, it's not because it's pure sugar. So you're instantly gaining the sugar with water combined, and you'd be like, ah, well, look at that. I have energy for days now, and then be like. And then you you walk happily after when other people are like, I need some breathing room, please save me, child. And you'll be like, No, good day, sir. Have a nice morning, you and all the lovely lot. I think that's uh, why. <laughs> I mean, the 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 but but uh, what? I mean the BTF. I probably do the same. <laughs> now, now you know how it feels to listen to me. <laughs> yeah, probably. You know, be 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 talking to me. Talking to me is not a not a problem for me. All right. I like, I love talking to myself. I love talking to other people that talk like me. It's like a really energetic atmosphere. It's like, boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam, and you know, it. Uh, it's like, it's like a, it's like a tennis game where you always hit. Instead of you know having these people like, please for the Lord of God stop it. Yeah, that, 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 those people are also there like. Can you please stop talking for one second? My ears have not adapted to your constant mumbling about anything or anything that m remotely is positive. Please stop it with the positively. I beg of thee. And then you know they are like, eh. they die because of it. <laughs> but yeah, it's a it's a it's a lovely uh, it's a lovely experience to have. Like I had, we we were like with three, uh, we had three. Uh, I slept with three uh, other people in one tent, so every single day, and we were the worst kind of people because we didn't know how to make a tent up. <laughs> we were like a very disorganized gang of people. Like, where did go everything again? Right, it's it's that one, right? Yeah, definitely that one. So. When everybody else was done within 15 minutes, I'm like, hmm, that's gonna take us two hours to build, right? Yeah, make it three. <laughs> it's like a game of tennis, you're in 21. <laughs> it's like a game of tennis, normal conversation. It's like a game of tennis. What? <laughs> but yeah, um, so uh, putting on, uh, building on a tent takes us like, uh, Two hours, and uh, well, the other people were done in like a half an hour. Done, and uh, yeah, we uh, we were the sluggiest people ever. We we of course are not, you know, we are strong warriors, but you know, other people were like, oh, look at the look at the girl look at the girl group. Ah, yes, they're done in half an hour. Look at the other girl group. Ah, they're done in half an hour. Look at the look at the uh, look at the look at the uh, look at the people that you know. Invited us to come here. Ah, yeah, they're done in. They're done in 50 minutes. All right. So, uh, has anybody see those uh, pins that we need to pin down? Oh, I thought you get them. Ah, well, <laughs> don't mind me if I take them now. So yeah, we 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 were really sluggish. We were like, our our skills were. Beyond reckoning, we we were the most masterful people ever when it came to wasting everybody's time by building on a tent, and that, and we were like, yeah, building a tent. Ooh, that sounds exhausting. Let's do it way slower than before. We were lazy people. Well, we were not lazy. We were just you know very unexperienced with building on tents, especially those. We even got the crappiest tent there was. We got like the broken one, which had like multiple pieces missing. So you can imagine, like, mm, 
how can we put this thing together even though there are things missing we should have definitely got a manual for this ah you will do fine you will do fine <laughs> and it was also making it was also making a tent in like i don't know 30 degrees so it was like ah yes the sun is really shining right now isn't it yeah i'm baking ah my hat it hurts from the, from the air getting away from it so yeah uh we were uh we were a good gang we were a good gang of people we 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 slept with three o three other uh, three other guys we were the we were the loudest people in the, we were the loudest people we always were talking until you know uh, uh one o'clock at night we were the ones that always were not awake at the morning we were the we were like just five more minutes <laughs> So yeah, we were we were Mac Mac lazy pants the ba Mac lazy pants the best. But one day I I made a fall fatal mistake. Oh, I made a fatal mistake. I put the alarm on on my telephone and everybody was like, "Somebody put that cursed music down now!" It was uh, it was awesome. Loud campers are the best campers. Yes, we had tons of fun. We were talking about, you know, uh, vocabularies and stuff, and star systems, and how the world turns out to be, and what kind of calamities would occur to the world again. So yeah, all the pro probabilities that could happen, you know, all that stuff. Well, you know, everybody was like, we want to sleep, and I forgot to put the, put the alarm off, and everybody was awake at 6 o'clock. And nobody was happy. It was the worst. Like your alarm, wake me up. I noticed that my alarm was on. Why would you put an alarm on your telephone? It's like I don't know. I I forgot I had an alarm on this thing. How can you forget? I don't know. I'm not very good at making sure that things are offline. <laughs> When you go down hiking. Also, we always had like two adapters, and that was it. And I believe my tel I believe I had the worst kind of adapter. I had. Oh wait! God dang it! I knew that I made a mistake. I did not know where, but I made a mistake, and I fix it now. There you go. Anyway. Enough talk about that. So uh, yeah, that is uh, that's a very good way of uh, you know sharing information, making everybody awake, and then say like, yeah, I forgot to put my alarm off, and everybody has a grumpy face. Of course, it was only for one day, so thankfully uh, <laughs> nobody hold a grudge against me. <laughs> I was actually one of the most uh, well nicest people. I believe I was not the person that was bad to others so I was I was a good I was a good person I was uh, I was uh, I, I I I I made human contact really good so yeah I'm uh, I'm happy how far I got so yeah uh, anyway uh, that's uh, that's how things go I also remembered uh, that I was uh, what was it again I believe uh, I believe one day, uh, yeah, at su at summer camp? No, winter camp. Yes, winter camp. We had once we had winter camp at our school, and uh, we went to uh, and, uh, we went to Austria for snowboarding and skiing. So one night, one of my friends actually drank uh, a Red Bull. All right, not a Red Bull, normal Red Bull. No, no, no. It was a Red Bull shot. So, uh, yeah, could you imagine it? Being totally, you know, being totally tired of snowboarding all day long, and then you come to your room and you see a hyperactive person be like, How are you today? Good morning! Hi! Hi! I cannot sleep today! Did you know that? Oh my god! Are the stars already there? Oh no! No! And I was like, Well! <clears throat> I walked out the room and I was like, 
you know what? I will be continue talking to somebody else for now. <laughs> he was so fucking hyper. It was not even funny anymore. <laughs> Rebel shots. Holy shit. That was way too much caffeine in one go for somebody. <laughs> and I left my head off with that. Oh my god, that was, that was the bomb. And he said like, yeah, it's forbidden for people be below 15. Well, too bad, my friend. If it is not forbidden, you know, you can get everything. <sighs> anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, I hope... Uh, that was a good, lovely story. <laughs> but yeah, my, my, my stories always end up in the wrong side of the foot. Once I actually went to, uh, when I was in, when I was in uh, high school, uh, we had to actually go to a different place for uh, gym class, an open, you know, sport uh, uh, soccer field. But the place where the soccer field was, was closed. Dun, dun, dun. And nobody was there. So I came, and I was sitting there, sitting there, and be like, will anybody come? One hour later, nobody showed up. After an hour, I realized, wait a minute, was I too early? Of course I was too early. I'm never late. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I was second doubting myself the whole time. <laughs> When I was sitting there like, well, maybe we don't have it today. Maybe we do. Maybe not. Hmm. Probably so I probably should have called somebody. Oh, wait, I don't have a telephone. Hmm. So, yeah, I uh, I overthink the situation and I was like, hmm, I have an internal struggle right now. Should I leave or should I not? And then, you know, I realized like, ah, yes, I, I was one hour too early. <laughs> I also once went to, I also once went to school or at a Sunday. And I didn't know that it was Sunday. I thought it was Monday, so I left early. I came back home, and I was like, "Wait a minute!" After I was to, after I went to school, and I saw the school closed, and I was like, "Wait a minute! I don't have school today. What the hell?" <laughs> so yeah, the it's quite funny to see such things happen and occurring. Oh my god! I zoned out and came back to, and that's why. That's way too much coffee. <laughs> yep. Yep, that was the story of my friend who drank the Red Bull shot. Oh man. That was hilarious. Also be very like... <laughs> that kind of approach like, yep, alright, you do you man. Just don't mind me. I'm just gonna be casually, you know, ignoring you for the n tonight. I I actually wanted I will actually want to sleep. <laughs> of course, I did not gain sleep at all because you know, somebody was way too hyper. Ah, if you don't notice, I am actually excited to tell. I'm actually excited right now because I'm telling stories. Ooh, excited me. Very spooky. Normally you don't see me excited because I'm like always like I want to be dead serious when I talk. Dead serious. So yeah. Anyway, uh <laughs> How late is it already? Eh, 40 minutes in. Ah, that's decent. That's decent. That's decent. I thought that 40 minutes would not be decent, but that's decent. 40 minutes is like uh I don't know. Selling a selling a monkey to uh, to an orphanage and say that it, it, it say that you know you need to find a new zoo or something I don't know there yeah. something like that probably something like that I have no idea what I just talked about but hey anyway um about uh. So uh yeah I actually I actually came I actually had like a lot of things that came down in high school it was actually quite fun uh high school was very interesting when it came to things like I re uh a friend of mine actually showed me the new news uh new uh, the yearbook of the school even though I never remembered that there was a school yearbook 
All right, I never knew that. Which is quite funny to see that I'm not I'm in a school yearbook and I did not even notice it. That's how wacky it sometimes went with my adventures. Ah, in the way back I I once well got as far as getting completely ready uh, to leave for school and never actually got there. P uh, partially because I live 40 minutes uh, walk from school. <laughs> On a weekend, that's it. <laughs> Well, good news. I biked 12 kilo. I buy. I but um. I yeah. I bite. I biked. So I went on my bicycle for 12 miles to get to school normally. So 12 miles to go to school, realizing there is no school, and be like, no. Uh. So yeah, that's uh, that's how much uh, that's that's how far I got. So yeah, twelve miles is a uh, a lot. I think that's uh, I think that's a better pronunciation than twelve kilometers. I know, I know it's sometimes hard for you know to be like, what was twelve miles again? I don't know. It's something in twelve kilometers. It's almost the same. So I'm I'm staying to the almost the same thing. So yeah, it was quite fun to see that uh, I actually made that deja vu moment like. What the hell? How how did I how did I not see this coming? Of course, after calling, you know, after calling, uh, you know, some of my friends, once I came back, it's like, wait, don't we have school today? And it's like, it's Sunday, dude. Ah, yeah, Sunday. Right. Nobody saw that mistake. <laughs> But yeah, I had I had a blast at the high school. It was uh, it was one of my favorite uh, years of uh, school, I believe. A lot of things happened, like fighting and uh, bullies being bullies, getting caught by the police. Wait, I didn't get caught by the police. Bullies got caught by the police. Yeah, the bully tried to strangle somebody and uh, ended up in a, and the person ended up in a hospital. You know, that kind of thing. Just normal, casual school life, you know. It was a fun school, at least. Always free soup. Why? I don't know. I got free soup. I always got free soup. I never bought something on that in that school. I never do. I always brought my bread, and I was like, I really could use some more bread. And I'm like, yes, but bread is expensive. Yes, I know, but it is bread. Yes, but it's expensive. Yes, bread. So yeah, I uh, I did a lot of uh, you know, bread. Also, there were something like trading, like oh, I could get you this food from the supermarket if you pay me two additional do uh, two additional euros, and I'm like, yes, yes, that's a good trade, and so. The higher high schoolers could actually leave the primitive, primi primitive, primitives when it was like you know, uh, the half, uh, half hour out. So there were like the, these stands sitting around, like a Turkish stand and uh, some other stands, and then people went to those stands and bought their food there. And it was actually quite fun to see, like you know, the, these trades happening, like hmm. I will give you that. I will give you this bread for two do for two euros, and I'm like, yeah, that's reasonable. And then you have like this big giant bread, of course. <laughs> that was awesome. Back in the day when people sold bread like big John, big time. You in a school day? Bread, yeah, bread. Luckily, I I I have like a little brother. And so it's it wasn't uh, it was a hint uh, when either of we were <laughs> awake. <laughs> nice. Yep. School days. Bread. Bread. It was all about bread and soup. Yeah. Soup life. Not tough life. Soup life. It's a soup life. Of course, I was the worst. I was not popular at all at my school. I was like the. Uh, Average Joe kind of person that uh, nobody uh, nobody took a liking on. It's like, 
yeah, I was only pro popular in my own class, and that was it. And the rest of the normal and the normal children were like, ah, no, we don't like you. Go away, shoo, you uh, tell teller. Because I was like, uh, I was a favorite of the uh, principal. She was a smoke addict who uh, be like, yeah, let's uh, let's toy with the teachers a, a little bit around and be like, ha. Huh? Look at me! I have I have a club now! And you're in it! You guess what kind of club? The idiot club! Oh! And then, you know, the Dutch the Dutch te teacher was also like, Oh, psych! English teacher, psych! <laughs> and then the English, and we were like in the English class, and the English teacher went instantly rage mode, closed, closed the, <laughs> closed the window, and said to us, And everybody, back to work! And then and everybody was like, yeah, sure. Sure thing, mate. <laughs> yeah, the the teachers were such a fucking they were really oh man, the principal was the principal was the best. She was literally the best. She was the most uh fun person ever. She smoked a lot, so every single time you met her, it's like Ah yes, the smoke of tobacco is back, baby. <laughs> so yeah. And she always cocked and huffed and everything. <laughs> I was a freak of cough, Hodkin. Well, you know. That also <laughs> happens. I never I never knew that I I never went in that kind of phase. I was always the go happy go lucky person who always like what is going around on my world? I have no idea what's going on, but I like it. I, you see, you see that book there? That's an awesome book. I read it. And then everybody looks at that book, and it's like, that's an encyclopedia. Why do you read an encyclopedia? It's like, eh? I was bored. How are you <laughs> bored? <laughs> Don't you have schoolwork to do? It's like, but it's already finished. How are you already finished? It's like. I don't know. <laughs> and everybody in my group was always like, "Yeah, let's do gaming. Let's do gaming afterwards. Yeah, let's do gaming, man. Let let's go game." So yeah, the whole the whole mentality was like, "Finish your homework and go back to gaming. We need you." <laughs> so yeah. Uh the great the great old high school be like, "Yeah, homework. Who needs that? Just go back to gaming once you're done." So yeah, the only trouble once the only time when I did not do gaming was when uh uh when 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 we had English homework because the English teacher was this evil well, he wasn't an evil person, but this strict person who if you did something wrong, oh boy oh boy, behold the big giant you know, metal shaped fist that's coming your way if you uh if you're gonna pull that joke. You know. It was this man who Really sent you uh, to the other class uh, to to the principal if you uh, disobeyed his orders. So yeah, uh, he was a uh, he was a no fun guy. He was the the worst kind of person you could have as a dame dream and be like, please open your book. I'm always like, oh that's a cool drawing I drew. Nice and uh, oh look at that. That's actually quite quite a cool word. And be like, <clears throat> oh yes yes yes, learning. All right, write me down twenty words in English. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Uh, but that was my mouth talking, by the way, and he was instantly pissed. No, make it forty. God damn it! <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, uh, my my mind was always like, I really should not, I really should not speak out loud when he is when he is around. <laughs> because I always got additional homework when when he was there. I was always the, the guy who to blame for like yeah, who are we going to blame today for being really really not uh who is going to be really not it there for today. It's like, hmm, allow me to blame you again. Why me? Uh because you are the person that always interrupts me. Yep, that's true. <laughs> I was I was I was loud, but a sort of scary, weird sense of humor. <laughs> the kind of I scare people. 
I thought I was all quiet and serious in the class. Probably looked like a super villain in waiting. <laughs> well, you know, at least, at least, you know, a super guy in waiting is a super, a super villain is at least better than being this person who is like totally not in the in totally not paying any attention on what what the what the person what the what the main teacher is saying and getting punished for it because i always are like this person that is like i have everything done already i knew it and then you have like these teachers are like why did you read the whole damn book it's like well you said to study chapter 1 right so i I study chapter 1, then chapter 2, then chapter 3, then chapter 4, then chapter 5. Why? Because I was bored and I thought, well, it's a good book anyway, so I start reading. And I continued reading. Yeah, that, that, that's me. It's like, I don't read normal books. Screw those things. Who needs books anyway? Who needs romantic books? Just informative books. Those were my go-to books. And yeah. English was a pain in the ass because the because the because the teacher was like in a very strict person, and if you made some wrong mistakes, then well, too bad you're gonna have a wrong, bad time. Then we had like the um, then we had like the science person who was a old man who almost retired, and he was like a real chill dude. Then we had like the German teacher who was actually a German. What a surprise! And he told us all about uh, Grammatica and uh, why it was so cool and stuff. And we were like, yeah, dude, that was actually quite cool. Thank you for the lessons. We had the biology teacher who was like a kind of a con uh, confused mess. Because he w he had like this, uh, he had like, he was always talking and talking and talking. And I was like, yeah, sure, dude, sure, sure, sure. Then we also had... D d yeah then we also had like um let's see we also had pe we also had to work for Vzorhing. so you know healthcare and all the people that you know how to cook and how to bake you know that kind of thing and uh well back in the day i was a very bad cook i cooked somehow i made spaghetti taste saw saw yes I made spaghetti taste sore. How did I do it? I don't know. Probably, bl probably I, uh, probably I created some abysmal creation of doom that uh, you know wanted to take over the world back then. But I didn't know how I did it. It's still a mystery how I made spaghetti taste sore. But uh, yeah, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me too. I read the whole damn book for, for the hell of it. Yeah. That's that. That's the greatest thing ever. I I really love that thing. Oh, look at the time. It's already uh, thirty minutes in. Oh, fifty minutes in. All right, cool. That's enough for today, I guess. And to then tomorrow morning, I will be starting doing this again. So, well, not this, but different things. Oh, look at that! How cool it already looks. Nice. See, it just takes time, people. Just takes time, but it looks in in the end, it will look awesome. <sighs> all right um that was it for today um thanks all for watching i hope uh i hope this was a blast <laughs> i think it was the best she was she was wholesome farmer wife who <laughs> came to hang out in my stables recommended my books she was also the only teacher who didn't insist calling me becky ah But uh, yeah, um, it's time for me to uh, be uh, be gone. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed for today, and uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I wish you all a lovely day, and uh, bye.